Hello and welcome back. In the video, I'm going to show you how to create a mini battery using e cigarettes lithium cells to be everything very compact. Here, I'm showing the idea that you can put these batteries inside the rod or use these tubes as focus rods but uh, it depends but in this case I will just use these modules to create a battery to be an external battery I'm wrapping the batteries I'm connecting the plus to plus and minus to minus so two cells in parallel thin the pads first and attach the wires and connect to the battery attaching the wires to the battery again plus to plus minus to minus so on this side and from there from the blue potentiometer you can Just the voltage and that will be the connector for the USB V is for plus, G for ground, minus I'm measuring to have exactly 5 volt but just right now I don't because the batteries are completely drained and for this I have to attach a charging module which is the second module for charging again I attach some wires there are markings for plus and minus B plus and B minus and I'm connecting those leads to the battery from this side I'm charging the battery using a 5 volt USB C and uh, the voltage from the battery is going into the boost module that puts the battery voltage to desired voltage. This is the charger module. The red means that uh, it's charging. And that is the output. And now I should have voltage and I'm adjusting here to have 5 volt to the output it's better to have less than 5 volt with a few millivolts than to have more voltage from this side I'm gonna solder some wire and uh, will be the cable for the follow focus that will send 5 volt into it this is the wire that I'm using is for audio it's very flexible and high quality soldering the V for plus and G for minus preparing the wires and connect the red and white together to be the plus and uh, wrap to be the ground plus to V minus to G this side can be wrapped in tape or uh, you can use some glue and I'm connecting the other side to the module again plus to plus minus to minus red to plus the battery 
voltage in, voltage out. This is the battery connected to modules to cells in parallel and the charging module marked as well B plus and B minus for the battery. Plus to plus, minus to minus always. And from this connector I can charge the battery or using 5 volt to lead to the tabs. And uh, together will be wrapped in tape. Something like this. And you can have the access to adjust the voltage and as well the connector to charge the battery. I'm revealing there the LED charging status, more tape, red mean that uh, it's charging and the blue when it's completely charged. in the connector would be nice and this is the little battery I'm testing it with the follow focus powering the controller and should work. Here it is. It's very compact, very easy to charge, to carry around. You can attach it to your camera to the gimbal or in a place where it can power your follow focus or uh, to the camera there you have the power for everything you want 5 volt and uh, in the same time it can be placed in a tube or uh, some kind of box or uh, wrapped even more with the velcro and you can attach it somewhere that you can use it as a counterweight balance or uh, in a place where it doesn't affect the balance on a gimbal or something like that. Very lightweight. I think the downside of, of this follow focus is that the motor doesn't have an internal battery and for this you need a big battery, usually they are very heavy and attaching it to a gimbal or something like that will be impossible. So with this little battery you can solve the problem with the follow focus and you can also have like all the rig very lightweight because the battery is always very heavy. I'm testing it again with the follow focus and the bonus is that uh, it can power as well and charge the controller which again has a USB-C connector and you will see that uh, the status for charging it's lit and plugging in out is not charging and now when I plug it in that uh, green thing will be indicating that it's charging.
the batteries can be bigger for more power but uh, this together these two cells will be one amp and several hours you can use the follow focus time to time because you don't use it permanently to adjust on some occasions you film you adjust and uh, you can build two or um, charge it time to time but the idea was for me to make it uh, as uh, small as possible and compact and portable and to be able to attach it to a gimbal and this will power a lot of things so that's all thanks for watching